That's right, folks. We're talking about rain gear today. Clearly. I'm like clear skies. Hit it. Okay, so maybe I jumped the gun with that. We're not necessarily talking about rain gear. We're talking <laughs> the hell. We're talking about a particular piece of rain gear, which I think is the best rain gear for a pilgrim doing the Camino or any hiker actually, any long distance hiker. I think this. Is How's that? Am I still making rattling noises? I don't know. I think this piece of rain gear is the best. There are again, there's many schools when it comes to what is the best rain gear. Some people like wearing rain pants, a rain jacket, one or the other, both in combination. Others prefer ponchos. Some people prefer plastic garbage bags. Call the police. Me, personally, ponchos where it's at. Only because I find that they breathe the best when it comes to rain pants and wearing a rain jacket, which you see some pilgrims doing. They get more wet inside those garments than they do on the outside because they're schwitzing. They're schwitzing, they're schwitzing, they're schwitzing, they're sweating. The condensation is building up from their body heat and sweat. So what's the point? If you put it on... To I just never understood that. You're putting it on to stay dry, but you're getting wet, so mm. why wear anything at all? You know, and that, you can actually go even lighter and just wear a, maybe a hiking rain skirt. Yes, men wear them too. And an umbrella. If you're gonna bring an umbrella, a sun umbrella, make sure it's a waterproof one. Duh. And that probably will keep you drier and more body temperature regulated than wearing a rain jacket or rain pants in combination. For me, however, I like ponchos. But what I don't like about ponchos or any rain gear is you have to stop because I get in a zone. Maybe some of you can relate to this. You get in the zone. You don't want to stop. But yet you have to stop, put down the pack, dig through your pack, find your rain gear, put it on, do a little dance, make a little love, whatever. Drink some coffee. But once you get in that zone, it's really tough to stop. And I, and I know if you've done the Camino before, if you're a long distance hiker, you can totally and completely relate to that. I get like just crazy. I get like... Uh, this prey drive kicks in if I see pilgrims on the horizon in front of me. And I keep thinking in my head, like, I will overtake you, pilgrim. You don't know who I am, pilgrim. It just gets in my head and I have to pass them. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it the way. But do as I say, not as I do. Don't do that. Don't fall into that, that cycle. Because it really is a cycle. Because you'll beat them for a while. And then you'll stop for a coffee. And, I, you know, I keep one eye on the road. One eye on my tortilla. And as soon as I see them walking by, I'm like... And then I gotta get back out there and get in front of them again. It's a weird thing. I can't explain it. Some of you may be able to relate to it. Regardless, once I'm in that zone where I just want to get where I'm going, maybe I'm like afraid I'm not going to have a bed that night. All these like, you know, useless fears that really do nothing for you, especially when you book the room, but you're still acting like that. Yeah, guilty. So you're getting in the zone. You don't want to stop. What is the best rain gear? This, my friends, this is the best rain gear. And you're probably thinking, hey, he's just wearing a backpack cover. Oh, am I? Or am I? No, folks, check this out. This is called the PACA. This is one of those, like, cottage industry, hiking cottage industry companies that is probably working out of his garage, the guy that invented this. I don't know. The site is very basic. I have no affiliation whatsoever with them. I will put a link below, though, because I love, well, I love cottage industry. I love small, mom-and-pop, unique hiking equipment. Garage Grown Gear is actually a great site, too, if you haven't been there. GarageGrownGear.com. They host... A lot of these small, maybe they, maybe companies that make one. And I don't mean company is like sounds bigger than what they actually are. It's probably some dude working out of his garage or basement or woman, and uh, they probably smell. They probably smell. They probably do. They probably sell one main product, much like myself. Anyways, this guy calls this the Paca. What this is is, it's a poncho. So as I'm hiking, I don't need to stop. I know it's gonna rain that day. I put the pack cover on. Before I get out there on the road, this is me miming, walking. I don't walk like this. I don't even hike like this. I mean, yeah, I dance like this. This is like the white man's overbite, right? I do that. Anyways, while I'm doing that, or continue to do that, if I feel the rain coming on, actually, I do it in steps. If it's a light rain, which often it is, I will reach back. Now I'm still walking. And I can pull the hood out. Now the great thing about the hood, it's big enough to go over 
my pith hat. So oftentimes in Spain, as many of you know, it rains. I'm going to stop walking now. It rains sporadically. It's like the rainy season anywhere, I guess. So it could drop all day or it could just be a sprinkle for like five minutes. It could be just a cloud above you. You will see places like where it's on one side of the street, it's it's dry. And on your side, it's raining for like five minutes. So sometimes this is just enough. And other times it's not. This is like the calm before the storm. So then we reach back here. And you start pulling out the rest of your jacket as you're walking. I haven't stopped walking. I haven't slowed down. I'm just pulling out my poncho. So you get the gist of it. It's all inside. I haven't used this in Spain, so forgive it. All inside of the rain cover on my pack. And I can tuck it back in there. I'm going to stop walking in place again. I'm like Jane Fonda of the Camino over here. Kyle, the hybrid of Martha Stewart. If Martha Stewart and Jane Fonda had a baby. So this is it, folks. This is the pack that they come in probably like three or four colors. Also very cool. They have pit zips. This is super important. As many of you know who have hiked in the rain, and for reasons I explained, the sweating on the inside, you want something that breathes. Oftentimes... You'll get this lightweight rain jacket. It fits in you know, its own pouch. It's packable, but it doesn't have pit zips. There's always like missing something in these in this, like high-tech gear. This nails it. They thought of every, almost everything, actually. This is my own little hack right here, which only makes it better. I make things better. Um, this is hat clip. I talked about this in another video, actually. But this is for my pith hat. So this clips into my pith hat. So I can have a chin strap. So if the wind gets strong, I can, you know, zip it up under my chin or slide it up under my chin. So I, I have one for my hat, but I also have one for this jacket too, where if I'm wearing just the hood or wearing the jacket as it is, I clip this right here and I can slide this up. Wow, well, Halloween, I open a front door, kids give me candy. Because otherwise, if this is, if I'm not using this, it opens up. But, so that's just my own little hack in regards to this jacket, but it'll probably work on other jackets as well. So using a chin strap in combination with your rain gear. So this is, again, it's called the Paca Poncho. It's awesome. It has a great visor up front here, too. And it folds down into this pocket. Okay, one thing I thought I would point out, though, is when repacking this, whenever you repack this, always pack the visor last. Make that be the very last part of the poncho that goes in here, just so you can fold it down right against the inside of the, of the case like that, just to keep it straight. You don't want to scrunch that up in there and bend and mutilate the visor. So always wait to the last second before you tuck the visor in there. Now here it is flat and flush with that. Boom. Another cool thing about this pocket, see it breathes as well. This is the pocket I use to hold my hiking pull tips as I'm hiking in the rain. So if I'm moving from concrete to the trail or from the trail to concrete or pavement, I've taken the tips off. I put them right in this pocket. So they're easily accessible when it comes to putting them back on when I get, or whatever, or taking them off. But yeah, that's the pocket I use. That's what I use that pocket for. But yeah, it's a really great design. I love it. They offer it in a couple different materials too. This is probably the cheaper one. There's like three different tiers, if you will, of material they can use. But again, a small mom and pop business. They have drawstrings for the hood. They have drawstrings down below for the waist, if you will. So I could tighten this and wear it like a jacket. Another reason why I like ponchos is they, they're like dresses. You don't need to wear uh, rain pants. These often will keep your shorts dry as well. So you can, you know, play with, tweak this out any way you want it. If you want to zip the fits, unzip the fits. Zip the pits, whatever you want to say. I just want to keep saying pits. Um, great design, great jacket. I personally think this is the best poncho out there. And I so never, ever see this in the forums or the groups or people talking about this particular brand. Oftentimes, don't confuse this for the pack, for the ponchos that go over your backpack also. that Meaning they have a space in the inside the poncho that will fit over the pack. Those are not the same thing. This is a completely unique design where it folds into itself 
So, the Paca. I love it. I have one in each color. I don't, actually. I have one. I got a new one this year, the green one. Forest green, I believe. This is not my favorite color, but it's not a fashion show either, folks. And, you know, if I fall off the mountain, they're going to find me. They're going to find me. I might actually catch some wind, too. One to meet up. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with any of this. But, yeah, check out the Paca. I'll have a link below. Again, I'm not affiliated with them or nothing. I just think it's a great design. Look at more zip ties right here. Or not zip ties, but more sliders. So you can really just customize this to your particular body shape and style. And once more, once the sun comes out again during the rain, you can tuck it right back in as you're walking at the same time and not have to worry about stopping. Or you could just wear it dangling too. Like this. When I walked into Santiago, I looked like, well, I think, I like to think I look like a Roman legionnaire, but I probably really just look like this. Kind of like a cape. I feel like Super Pilgrim, right? The Paca by Cedar Tree. And again, thepaca.com. I'll have a link below, but check it out. I think this is a really important and never spoken of piece of rain kit and should be on every pilgrim's backpack and back. If you enjoyed today's tips, tricks, and hacks, please like, comment, and subscribe. For the love of God, subscribe. We need your subscriptions. Why? I don't know. Did I even learn anything on the Camino? Subscribe. Like and comment. I want to know what you're wearing. Huh? What your rain gear is. You know, you could, after you, if you're still looking for rain gear and you haven't watched my other, I don't know what that was. This is like my author photo. But uh, if you're still interested in learning more about rain gear, check out my shoe video. This video. These videos. I'll put them up at the end of the video. But uh, one and two, it's a series on best shoes for the community. I don't know what that was either. Uh, best shoes for the video. Uh, no. <laughs> I've done like five videos at this point in a row, so pardon. What am I talking about? Yes, a best shoes video where I cover waterproof socks. That's right, folks. You'll hear people talking about Gore-Tex this and Gore-Tex that. You don't need Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex is a lot like the problem we talked about with rain jackets where water stays, well, while it repels water on the outside or while it's waterproof, on the inside it also captures water. Despite what they're saying and the special chemicals they're treating it with, you still get condensation in there, you still sweat, and you still, it's moist inside the shoe. So why even wear them? That's why I wear trainers, like Topos cross trainers. Awesome. But then people, well, what about when it rains? Well, when it rains, I slip into my waterproof socks by Dry Mile. I'll have a link for them down below too, in case you get lazy and don't want to watch that entire video on shoes, whatever that is. It's coming at the end of this. Waterproof socks and the Paca. That's the way. That is truly the way. And this Pith hat, as with all my Pith hats that are available on my site, also, not waterproof, but water resistant. Very water resistant. Yeah. And I should mention that if you are hiking the Camino in the late spring or the summer, you might want to consider not a cloth hat, but maybe not a pith hat, but um, a straw hat. They make all sorts of straw hats that just breathe better than your normal hat would. A lot of them aren't foldable, but some of them you can kind of crush or compact, compact, com compress whereas you couldn't with this one. But the fact is, they breathe really well. I can see you through this. I feel like I'm... And the work around, it being straw and Spain being a very wet and damp place, is waterproofing it. There's lots of different waterproofs out there. I, I'll have one I'll put in the link below that works really well with straw hats, with, with lighter color straw hats, only because it, it's, a, it's a type of wax that you can kind of see on darker colors, but on lighter colors like this, you would never know. This is, in fact, waterproof. Yeah. So... I hope this has been helpful. Again, if you think so, like, comment, and subscribe. Very curious on what you guys are wearing for uh, rain gear. And if you've heard of the pop Paca, I'd be curious. Because, again, I haven't seen this mentioned anywhere. And it's such a cool piece of kit. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time. Squirrel? Hey there. Got a mad squirrel in here. You're nuts. Why can we go?
Bu <gülüyor> 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 <gülüyor>